Kumusta? Ako si Jona. Mayong pag-abot dali sa Bisaya Classroom. In today's lesson, you are going to improve your conversation skills. So, in our lesson for today, we will be practicing 10 questions in Bisaya and I will also be giving you sample responses that you can use. So, the first question would be the most generic one. Kumusta ka? Kumusta ka? Meaning, how are you? You could even add the word na. Kumusta na ka? Kumusta na ka? You can add na if the person that you are singing, seeing is someone that you know and you haven't seen him for a long time. Kumusta na ka? How are you? And then, you can actually, um, what do you call this one? You can actually emphasize your question by adding man. Kumusta naman ka? Kumusta naman ka? Usually, Bisaya people add naman or man if they see someone they haven't seen for a very long time and they are very curious as to what is happening or what's the latest about that person right now. Kumusta ka? Kumusta na ka? Kumusta naman ka? Usually, when you ask, Kumusta naman ka? You're more concerned or you're curious, you're really curious about the latest updates about his or her life right now. And here are the possible responses. Formally, you could reply with Maayo man, meaning I am good or I'm fine. Maayo means good. Maayo man. And then you could say, ikaw, meaning how about you? Ikaw. Kumusta ka? Ikaw, kumusta ka? Or if they ask you, kumusta na ka? You could add, kumusta na ka? Maayo man. Ikaw, kumusta na ka? Or if they ask you with man, you could add man also here. Maayo man. Ikaw. Kumusta naman ka? Sometimes, when we see someone very close to us, we don't want to give a boring response. Sometimes, we wanted to add humor to it. So, instead of saying, Maayo man, ikaw, kumusta naman ka? We could reply like this. Guapa, gihapon. Gihapon meaning still. So, if you say guapa, guapa means beautiful. Still beautiful guapa gihapon or if you are a boy if you are a male you could say guapo gihapon kumusta ka guapo gihapon kumusta na ka guapa gihapon or if you want to change guapa or guapo you could replace it with any adjective that you want you could say sexy gihapon okay or if you want to say you're still rich you could say dato gihapon Dato meaning rich, okay? Or you could use any other adjective that you can think of. If you are not yet well-versed in terms of Bisaya adjectives, you can actually use English adjectives and add it to a Bisaya sentence. Usually, in the Philippines, it doesn't matter if you insert English words into your Bisaya sentences. Actually, our daily conversations are very, very influenced with English words. So, guapa gihapon, guapo gihapon, sexy gihapon, cute gihapon, chubby gihapon. Okay? Question 2. This is also very common. Asa ka mo adto? Asa ka mo adto? Meaning, where are you going? Asa ka mo adto? Where are you going? Asa ka mo adto? Asa ka mo adto? And here are the possible responses. The word mo adto, mo adto ko, I, ko means I, mo adto ko sa, you add sa before the place. Mo adto ko sa simbahan. Simbahan means church. You could replace it with any place that you are going. Any name of the place that you're going. Muad to ko sa simbahan. 
Muad to ko sa park. Muad to ko sa mall. Muad to ko sa balay. Balay means house. Again, you could insert any place that you wanted. If you don't know the Bisaya term for that place, you could again use English. It's okay. Or, you could um, have this option. It's a shorter one. Asa ka mo adto? Where are you going? You could simply simply reply with Didto sa tindahan. Tindahan means store. Okay? It's a mini store. Didto sa tindahan. This is actually not a complete sentence. It's just a phrase. So, didto means there. There. Um, if you translate it in English, it's not grammatically correct. In Bisaya, it's also an incomplete sentence, but conversationally, it is accepted. And it's the, it's one of the common replies to Asaka mo adto. Asaka mo adto. Dito sa tindahan. Dito sa simbahan. Dito sa park. Dito sa mall. Okay? Or... You could make it even shorter by removing all of these words and just have the word sa. Usually, sa um, signifies that the next word would be a location or a place. Sa kwarto. Kwarto means room. Sa simbahan. Sa tindahan. Sa park. Sa zoo. Sa eskwelahan, meaning school. Sa banyo, meaning toilet. Sa kantin, sa, and many other places. Okay? As uh, the same thing as what I told you before, um, the Bisaya language is very much, you know, tradi uh, traditionally, we have traditional words for this kind of, you know, these words like park and a lot more. But now, in the modern Bisaya conversations, usually we, we don't care if we, you know, insert English names of places to our Bisaya sentences. So don't be afraid to insert your English words if you're still not well versed with Bisaya. Okay? So, asa kamo adto? Sa kwarto? Asa kamo adto? Sa Philippines? Asa kamo adto? Sa America? Asa kamo adto? Sa Japan? And a lot more. Asa ka mo adto? Sa imong kasing-kasing. Sa imong kasing-kasing means to your heart. Kasing-kasing means heart. Sometimes when someone dear to us, very close to us, or our lover sometimes asks this question, and maybe they look stressed or they look concerned or worried, you could lighten up the mood by replying, Sa imong kasing-kasing or to your heart. So you could turn a very serious conversation or a question into a lighter one before you reply the actual location where are you going. So for example, she looks stressed or he looks stressed. Asa ka mo adto? And then you could reply with a smile. Sa imong kasing-kasing. Question number three. What are you doing? Nagaunsa ka. Nagaunsa ka. Nagaunsa ka diri. What are you doing here? Nagaunsa ka diri. What are you doing here? Nagaunsa ka dito. Dito means there. What did you do there? Nagaunsa ka diri. Ah, nagaunsa ka dito. What did you do there? Please take note of the word naga and nag. <clears throat> naga means you're asking for a question that's continuously done or that's been done in the present. What are you doing here? Naga unsa ka? While in this third question, nag unsa ka dito? What did you do there? Unsa means what? Okay? Ka means you. Alright, so I hope that it's clear. Nagaunsa ka. What are you doing? If you would say, Nagaunsa ka, what did you do? Nagaunsa ka, what did you do? 
What have you done? Nagaunsa ka diri. What are you doing here? Nagunsa ka diri. What did you do here? Or what have you done here? Nagunsa ka dito. What did you do there? Okay? And here are the possible responses. Naga trabaho ko. Trabaho means work. So naga and then you insert what are you doing or what did you do. Naga trabaho ko meaning I am working. If the question is in the past, nagunsa ka, nagtrabaho ko. If the question is in the present, naga unsa ka, naga trabaho ko. Okay? You could change trabaho with tuun. Tuun means studying or learning. Kaun means eat, eating. Naga kaun ko. If the question is in the past, nagkaun ko. Okay? If they add diri, meaning here, nagaun sa kadiri. Nagatrabaho ko diri. Nagun sa kadito. Nagtrabaho ko dito. Or you could have this word hulat, meaning wait. Nagun sa kadiri. Nagahulat ko nimo. Ko nimo, meaning I am waiting for you. Nimo means for you. I'm waiting for you. Nagahulat ko nimo. Nagun sa kadito. Naghulat ko nimo. Question number four is very easy. Unsay pizza karun? Unsay pizza karun? Pizza meaning date. Karun means now or today. Unsay pizza karun? What's the date today? Then you could reply with the date. September 24, 2023. Or actually there are Bisaya versions of the months but that will be for another lesson please comment down below if you would love to learn the Bisaya months in a year and of course for the numbers I have already given a lesson about that so what's the Bisaya of 24 yes we have Spanish inspired numbers 24 yes very good so unsay pizza karun Question number five. Unsay plano ni mo ugma? Unsay plano ni mo ugma? Unsa means what? And then plan mean plano means your plan. Ni mo means your. Ugma means tomorrow. What is your plan tomorrow? Or in English, it could be what are your plans tomorrow? Unsay plano ni mo ugma? Unsay plano ni mo ugma? Usually you ask this question when you are when you are interested with a person and you want to hang out with a person. Okay? So the possible responses would be wala meaning nothing. I don't have any plans. Wala. You could add it with sabalay lang. Just at home or balay means house. Wala, nothing. Just at home. Sa balay lang. Wala. Sa balay lang. So, if this is the response, you could suggest some some sort of things. You could suggest the, the travel or the hangout that you wanted to. Okay? Or, usually, they would reply with this one. Mang laba ko. Laba here is the, their plan tomorrow. So, laba means laundry. So, mang laba Ko meaning I will do the laundry. Mang labako or mang limpio ko meaning they will clean. Limpio means clean. I will clean my house or whatever. Or instead of mang, they could have the prefix mag for some action words. Mag trabaho ko meaning I will work. Unsa plano ni mo mag trabaho ko. Or they could actually mix this one. Because trabaho meaning you don't have any other plans. You will just work and it will be just a regular day. Unsay plano ni mo ugma? Wala. Magtrabaho ko. Unsay plano ni mo ugma? Manglaba ko ugma. Manglaba ko. You could even add the word ugma in your response. Manglaba ko ugma. Unsay plano ni mo ugma? Ugma means again tomorrow. Don't forget. Unsay plano ni mo ugma? 
Sa balay lang. Ugma, sa balay lang. Magtrabaho ko. Magtuon ko o bisaya ugma. Okay? I hope it's clear. Question number six. Pwede or pwede ta manglaag? So, this is actually in connection to the first question a while ago. Um, Unsay plano ni mo ugma. So, again, if the person says wala sa balay lang or if the person has no other plans, you could ask this question next. Can we, pwede, can we, um, ta, we, and then manglaag is the action that you are suggesting, okay? Manglaag or manuroy, manglaag or manuroy means to go out somewhere. Can we go out somewhere? Can we go around the town? That's the meaning of manglaag or manuroy. Meaning you will go somewhere nice. You're going to explore the place. Okay? Pwede or pwede. Pwede ta manglaag. So, if you are planning tomorrow, then you can use ugma. Pwede ta manglaag ugma. Pwede ta manuroy ugma. These two mean the same. Okay? They are synonymous. Pwede ta manglaag ugma. Pwede ta manuroy ugma. Or pwede ta manuroy you're asking for permission, okay? Or, if you would, if you don't want manglaag or manuroy, you can replace it with any bisaya action word. Pwede ta magsimba. Pwede ta magsimba, meaning, can we go to the church? Can we serve the Lord? Pwede ta magsimba, ugma. So, again, this is a question where you're asking, or not really asking, you're somehow suggesting something to do and you are asking the other person the permission if they would like to do it. Here are the responses. O, O or O meaning yes. O, pwede. Yes, we can. O, pwede. Or we, they can just simply reply with O. Or they could reply with sige, meaning yeah, okay, sige. Pwede tamang laag. Sige. Pwede tayong malag. Oh, pwede. Okay? Or the negative reply would be dili. Dili. Dili pwede. Dili pwede. Or simply dili. Or they could add this phrase pasensya na. From the word patience in English. Pasensya na, please. It's like have patience on me or apologies like that. Pasensya na, dili pwede. Okay? Pwede ta manglaag? Dili. Pasensya na. Pasensya na. Kaayo. Kaayo is an intensifier. Um, please apologize. Uh, apologies um, from me. Apologies. Great apologies. Like that. Okay? Pasensya na. Dili. Pwede. Okay? I hope that it's clear. Question number seven. Madayon ta ugma? Madayon ta ugma? We already know that ugma means tomorrow. And ta, kita, short for kita, meaning we. So, madayo ta ugma, meaning are we going ahead tomorrow? Or should we push through with our plans tomorrow? Are we going to go ahead? Or are we going to do it tomorrow? Madayon ta ugma? Madayon ta ugma? So, you ask this question if you want to confirm the plans that you have made yesterday or kagahapon. Yesterday means kagahapon. So, madayon ta ugma? Here are the responses. O, yes. O, dayon ta? O, dayon ta? Or if it's negative, you could say dili. Pasensya na. You remember a while ago? Pasensya na. Dili lang sa? Dili lang sa. Pasensya na. Dili. Or Dili lang sa. Question number eight. Unsay ganahan ni mo na blank. So here, we are asking what um, do you like? So ganahan means like. Ni mo means you. And then here, it, it's up to you. What do you want to ask? What food do you like? So here in Bisaya, we say pagkaun. Unsay ganahan ni mo 
nga pagkaon. So, in English, what food do you like? Okay? Kung sa'y ganahan ni mo nga pagkaon. O, so, you can reply, ganahan ko ug. Then, you could put here the thing that you like. Ganahan ko ug adobo. So, adobo, you can research what is adobo. It's actually a very delicious dish. It's usually made of um, it's usually made of uh, chicken or meat or any meat. Okay? So, ganahan ko ug adobo. If the question is different, if it's not food, you could um, change the question. For example, if you don't want to ask about food. Unsay ganahan ni mo nga movie. Unsay ganahan ni mo nga color. Unsay ganahan ni mo nga nga and many other things. Okay? So, your reply, the reply could also depend on the question. For example, the question is, unsay ganahan ni mo nga color. So, you would say, ganahan ko og itom. Itom means black. Or, ganahan ko og pula. Pula means red. So, there are also Bisaya words, each color in, in, in Bisaya. So, if you also want to learn that, we can have it. Just comment down below if you wish to learn about those things. Alright. Question number nine. Unsay oras, meaning what time? Unsay oras. What time? For example, they're suggesting something like a, 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 um, a laag or a, a plan. So you could ask, what time? Unsay oras. Unsay oras. Oras means time. What time? Or you could ask, what time is it now? Unsay oras karon. Karon means now. Unsay oras karon. What time is it now? Unsay oras karon. You could reply like this. You add the word alas and you add the Bisaya number. Usually for time, telling the time, we use the Bisaya inspired numbers. So five in Bisaya is cinco. Alas cinco. Alas cinco. That's how we tell the time. So if you forgot about Bisaya numbers, so you can go to the previous video that I made, I'm going to put the link down below also so that you could simply click on it um, after this video if you wish to go back there. So, unsay oras karon? Unsay oras karon? You could reply, alas, what's 10 in Bisaya? Gs. Alas, Gs. Remember, again, in Bisaya, we usually use the uh, Spanish-inspired numbers uh, when we tell time. Alas, alas dos, alas tres, alas cuatro, alas cinco, alas seis. Okay? So, I hope that's clear. Question number ten. The last question of the day. Nakasabot ka? Nakasabot ka? Ka means you. Nakasabot. Understand. Meaning, do you understand? Nakasabot ka? Do you understand? Nakasabot ka? Or you could um, uh, enhance the question by adding Nako. Do you understand me? Nakasabot ka nako? Nakasabot ka nako? Do you understand me? Nakasabot ka nako? Or you could change nako with lesson. Sa lesson. Nakasabot ka Sa lesson? Nakasabot ka sa lesson? I am really hoping that your response would be the positive one. Oh, kasabot ko. Yes, I understand. Oh, kasabot ko. But if you, don't, if you did not understand, you could say, Wala. Wala ko kasabot. Wala. Wala ko kasabot. Or, you could add this, Naglibog ko. Naglibog ko. Libog meaning confused. So, you are confused. There are some parts that you are confused or you have some doubts. So, you could say, Wala, naglibog ko. Then, you could say your doubts later on if you have. 
Okay, so, but I'm really hoping, uh, subscribers, that your answer or your response is this one. But if you have some doubts, uh, there are some parts where you could say naglibog ka. Just comment down below and I will do my best to respond. So before we end our lesson, we are going to practice what we have learned today. So let's do a role play. Let's pretend that we saw each other in a supermarket or in a mall. And I will be the one to approach you first. And you're going to respond to me, okay? So let's pretend that we are close friends and we haven't seen each other for a long time, okay? Let's start. Kumusta naman ka? Maayo, maayo. Asa ka mo adto? Ah, okay. Nagunsa ka dire? Mm. Um, unsay pizza ka ron? Okay. Unsay plano ni mo ugma? Okay. Um, Unsay ganahan ni mo nga movie? Pwede tamang laag ugma? Alright, so if you were able to respond properly, congratulations. If there are some doubts, you can actually comment down below. Apologies, actually I haven't been away from YouTube for quite a while due to some circumstance. But I'm so happy that you are there, my dear subscribers, to always wait for me for every lesson to open. And you're always there to support me all the way. Thank you very much for those who purchased my Bisaya Classroom Journal. By the way, I would just like to make a clarification. Um, there are no lessons inside that Bisaya Journal. It's just actually like a notebook and um, it will assist you with your learning. So if you want to take down notes, um, if you want to put there your vocabulary, you can. And for those who purchased, thank you, thank you very much. It's my very first journal that I made and I'm still in the process of creating my Bisaya Classroom textbook so I really hope that you're going to support it when it's uh, when it will be available for those who have not yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel so that you will be um, notified when I open a new lesson and if you want to support this dear classroom you can click the buy me a coffee link down below and you will become a great blessing Thank you very much for those who clicked the buy me a coffee and gave me coffee. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. It really warmed my heart. There are really, you just don't know how you have become a blessing to me as, um, as always. So thank you very much, dear subscribers. And I'm really hoping for um, your support on the following lessons that I will be producing. Thank you very much. And I'm hoping that you have learned a lot. Please let me know uh, by posting your comments down below. See you next time in the Bisaya Classroom.